Oh, that's a lot of work right there, shoveling all that snow. Something that we certainly don't have to worry about right now, but we do have plenty of rain out there right now. Not at all here. That's a lot of snow, but we have the rain moving on through. We were expecting it about this window of the day late afternoon, early evening, and it sure has arrived right on time. Cold front moving on through behind the cold front. It does dry on up. We'll see more scattered showers and colder air is going to start moving on into day temperatures in the lower 50s. Heavy rain from Portland down through Woodburn there. Expect all the roads to be pretty wet out there. If you're going to be doing any sort of driving late tonight, it's going to be a bit slick. That extends into areas of Washington. Snowfall for the Washington Cascades. We're going to start seeing some snowfall for the Oregon Cascades soon. Notice, though, it is drying up a little bit right behind the front, but we'll keep that onshore flow going, which should help generate scattered showers not only late tonight, but also as we head into Monday and probably Tuesday as well. So here's that in motion. You can see how it's kind of sweeping across the Willamette Valley. It's going to collide with the Cascades here. Whatever little bit of moisture that can make it on the other side because of the rain shadow and everything that sets up that kind of dries things up uh, should be enough to get the ground wet, I do believe, late tonight. Rain totals so far do not appear to be too impressive, but once we get that update, and especially as we get into like the late evening hours, once the cold front finally sweeps across the Willamette Valley, we'll have some rain totals that will look a little bit more like what we expected, probably close to about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so there's Vancouver, there's Stoller, there's Mount Hood Meadows and Lincoln City there. You can see that it's starting to open up a little bit. There's some folks out there. Stoller just looks gloomy. Yeah, Mount Hood Meadows is just waiting for that snowfall to come down. And when it does arrive, it should be in full force. I am expecting a decent amount of snowfall as we head into tonight. In fact, there's a winter weather advisory there for the Cascades and extending up to areas of Washington. Yeah, I think we get about 8 to 12 inches. I don't think the forecast is going to change much from yesterday. That winter weather advisory there in this whole section of purple does not include areas of the gorge at this time, and I'm not expecting it to. 36 degrees now for Mount Hood. Earlier this week, it was up in the 50s. So we're finally starting to see some of that cold air infiltrate into the mountains. Just a beautiful view right now. I do want you to see that snowfall a little bit higher on the mountain there. We'll zoom on in maybe a little bit later. Timberline just waiting for the snowfall. We haven't had any fresh snowfall yet, but that powder is on the way. As I take us through the snow total forecast through Monday and Tuesday, projecting maybe up to about 15 inches there, about 4,000 feet, 5,000 feet base of the ski resorts. That's some good snowfall, and we could use that. That will push our base right back up to close to maybe 90 inches, a little bit closer to maybe 100 for some spots at Timberline. Futurecast is going to take that cold front. It's going to kick it to the east. Cold air moves on in. You see that transition from rain over to snow pretty quick by tonight. So I do expect the passes to get snowy, and it's going to continue into tomorrow morning. If you're taking that trip, be prepared for that. Yeah, as I mentioned, a little bit of that moisture should make it east of the Cascades. We'll get some snowfall for the Blues and the Wallala Mountains off towards the east. And uh, that will produce some great snowfall for Anthony Lakes over there. Futurecast on Monday afternoon, still pretty showery. As I mentioned, you can see how that northwest flow is still kicking and it's going to continue for Monday and Tuesday, leaving us with kind of a scattered showers. Tuesday will be more isolated. We head into Tuesday afternoon there and notice that we'll probably pick up a little more snowfall for the Cascade. So we'll take that while we can. Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. we dry up a little bit and then I think we stay pretty dry as we kind of wrap up the work week until we get to Friday night there with a quick moving system. All right, real quick, let's take a look at that seven day forecast. 44 on Wednesday, it's a bit cooler the next three days, but we warm right back up to near 50 degrees, weighing on Saturday and Sunday with more sunshine. Not much rain beyond Wednesday, a couple showers tomorrow. Little something for everyone this week. That's true, yeah. All right, thanks, Joseph. Next, we're.